Ad Astra Abiska. Welcome to Genshin Impact in D&D, Traveler. I'm Talon Striker, and I'm here to guide you on this commission. Today we'll be talking about the head chef of the Wanmin restaurant, Zheng Ling. But before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified when a new video comes out. Zheng Ling, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello! Nice to meet you! My name is Zheng Ling. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. Ugh. I practice so hard, but I still get nervous when introducing myself. <laughs> well, without further ado, I bring you all Zhongling in D&D. The goals for this build are as follows. Zhongling needs to be a master chef that can satisfy anyone's stomach. She also needs to be able to bring a stove god's fire to the battlefield and take enemies out of the pan and into the fire. And Zhongling can't be seen without her adorable partner, Goba. Is there time for a quick snack? I'll whip one up in no time! Starting out, Zhengling's race will be Human Variant. Here she'll get a plus one in both Wisdom and Constitution. She'll also pick up the Language Sylvan and the Nature skill. Zhengling also gets the Chef Feet, which gives her a plus one to Constitution and the ability to add buffs to her cooking. Watch carefully. Heat the oil in a pan. Then take a handful of Crystal Flies. Wings removed. Pop them in and voila! Delicious deep fried crystal. Hey, where are you going? For stats, we'll be doing standard, right? Zhongling has an 8 in strength because she just doesn't need it. Dexterity is a 12 because she needs to be quick with all the food she's making. Constitution is a 13 since she tends to use unique ingredients in her dishes. Wisdom is a 15 because Zhongling has been cooking since a young age. Intelligence is a 10 because she has more street smarts than she does book smarts. And her charisma is a 14 because how else would she get people to try her new dishes? If you get a stomach ache, a cup of herbal tea with silk flowers will clear it up in no time. Uh huh? Of course you can trust my herbal remedies. We chefs are expected to know a thing or two about medicine as well, you know. Moving on to Zhongling's background, it'll be an outlander. She gets the skills Athletics and Persuasion. She also learns how to use the drums and learns the language Celestial. Zhongling is used to traveling in the wild in search of new and unique ingredients, so this makes the most sense for her. My favorite thing to eat is... Whatever exotic ingredient I haven't tried yet! No, I'm not dodging the question. That's my honest answer. Zhongling's personal characteristics are as follows. Her personality traits are, I'm driven by a wanderlust that led me away from home to improve my skills. I'm always picking up things, absentmindedly fiddling with them and experimenting with them in dishes. Ideals are, it is each person's responsibility to make the most happiness for the whole village. Bonds are being, my family is the most important thing in my life, even when they are far from me. And her flaw is, I am too enamored with the new ingredients that I find and will without fail try to make a dish out of them, whether my friends or family want me to or not. My heart's desire? To start my very own cooking tradition, of course! Me style and yes style cooking are good, but they have a limited palate. The missing ingredient? Chili pepper! Come, let me fry up one of Goba's chili peppers for you! Starting out, Zhongling will be a druid. At level 1, she gets proficiency in perception, survival, and learns the druidic language. Zhongling also gets access to spells. Here she'll pick up the cantrips Create Bonfire and Shillelagh, and the level 1 spells Cure Wounds, Detect Magic, Good Berry, and Speak with Animals. Create Bonfire lets Zhongling create an instant bonfire on the ground for cooking and has the added benefit that anything in it takes fire damage. Shalali imbues a club or quarterstaff with energy, making it stronger and letting her use her wisdom to make attacks instead of strength. Cure Wounds lets her give a creature a quick meal that can heal it for a chunk of HP. Zhongli's cooking is that good. Detect Magic lets her see anything magical within range, so this is basically her element of sight. Good Berry lets her make up to 10 berries that can heal for 1 HP, great for those important pick-me-ups, and Speak with Animals lets her do just that for up to 10 minutes. At level 2 druid, Zhongling gets her subclass, in this case, Circle of Wildfire. At this level, she gets a Wild Companion and Wild Shape. Wild Companion gives her the ability to summon a spirit that assumes an animal form that stays around for a few hours, while Wild Shape allows her to magically assume the shape of a beast that she's seen before. Circle of Wildfire lets her summon a Wildfire Spirit being Goba, her elemental skill. She can use either of these three up to twice a day. When Goba is summoned, creatures near him take fire damage and afterwards he sticks around to help in combat. 
He can spit fire as well as teleport and deal fire damage to anything left behind. This subclass also gives Jungling certain spells every few levels. Here she gets the spell Burning Hands, which shoots out a cone of fire that enemies have to avoid or take fire damage. At level 3 Druid, Jungling gets access to level 2 spells. Her subclass gives her Flaming Sphere and Scorching Ray. Then she picks up the spells Enhance Ability, Flame Blade, and Locate Animals or Plants. Flaming Sphere creates a small sphere made of fire that Jungling can control. She can move it around and slam it into things, and being near it causes damage. Scorching Ray makes three balls of fire that can shoot out towards enemies. Both of these are versions of Zhongli's elemental burst. Enhance ability lets her make a dish that magically enhances a creature and buffs one of its stats. Flame Blade lets Zhongli create a weapon of fire, in this case a spear, that she can wield. And locate animals or plants, as it sounds, lets her name one of those and know the location of said thing in a certain range, perfect for a cook looking for ingredients. At level 4 druid, Jungling gets the feat Fate Touch. This gives her a plus 1 to Wisdom and the spells Misty Step and Bless that she can use once a day for free. Misty Step lets Jungli teleport anywhere within 60 feet, and Bless lets her pick 3 creatures that recently ate her cooking and empower them making it easier for them to attack and avoid danger. Jungling also gets a wild shape improvement which lets her turn into stronger beasts and she picks up the Summon Bee spell which lets her summon a less spicy goba that can help him in combat. At level 5 Druid, Zhongli gets access to level 3 spells. Her subclass gives her Plant Growth and Revivify. She also picks up the spells Conjure Animals, Daylight, and Dispel Magic. Plant Growth lets her channel vitality into plants within a specific area and can either do immediate effects like making plants overgrown or move them, or long-term effects like enriching the land for a year. Revivify lets Zhongli create such a great meal that she can bring someone back to life if they died in the last minute. Conjure Animals lets Zhongli summon animals that she used in cooking to help in battle. The number she can summon varies on how strong they were. Daylight lets her tap into the fire of a stove god and create a light so bright it mimics daylight, and Dispel Magic lets her make a quick concoction that can negate other magic effects. Oh wow, this feels great! My whole body is bursting with energy! At level 6 Druid, Zhongli gets Enhanced Bond. Goba and her bond is so strong that both destructive and restorative spells deal more damage and heal more. Plus, spells can originate from Goba as well as Zhongli. Now we switch over to Bard. At level 1 Bard, Zhongli gets proficiency with a flute and sleight of hand. She also gets Bardic Inspiration, which means her cooking can be so inspirational that her allies get buffs. She also gets two more cantrips, being Prestidigitation and Mage Hand, plus she picks up the level 1 spells Animal Friendship, Fairy Fire, Healing Word, and Unseen Servant. Prestidigitation lets Zhongli make minor magical effects, one of which is chilling, warming, or flavoring something, very good for a chef to have. Mage Hand summons a spectral floating goba that can grab and move things for Zhongli. Animal Friendship lets her convince a beast that she means no harm to it. Fairy Fire lets her spread fluorescent spices that glow in an area and anything covered in the spices are easier to attack. Healing Word lets her speak a creature's favorite dish which gives him a little bit more HP to keep going. And Unseen Servant summons an invisible being made of the stone god's will to help Zhongli with tasks near her. At level 2 Bard, Zhongli gets Jack of All Trades, Song of Rest, and Magical Inspiration. Jack of All Trades means that anything she was bad at, she becomes good at, and anything she was good at, she becomes amazing at. Song of Rest lets Zhongli put on a dinner and a show for her party to heal them for a huge amount. And Magical Inspiration lets someone who is inspired by Zhongli to add more damage or healing to a spell. At level 3 bar, Zhongli gets a subclass being called a Glamour. At this level, she also gets expertise in both persuasion and nature. She's a master chef that can convince anyone to eat her food and has the knowledge to back it up. Her subclass gives her Mantle of Inspiration and Enthralling Performance. Mantle of Inspiration lets Zhongli give her allies a burst of speed and vigor from her food while Enthralling Performance lets her put magic into her cooking performance and charm some of the audience. She also gets access to level 2 spells and picks up Lester Restoration and Pyrokinetics. Lester Restoration lets Zhongli's cooking heal one disease or condition, and Pyrotechnics lets her make a quick firework or smoke bomb. At level 4 Bard, she gets an ability score increase, which will be a plus 2 to wisdom, and she picks up the spell Mirror Image. With the heat of the stove god flowing through her, three Mirage duplicates form around her, making it hard for enemies to hit her. Hey! Ha! Hoo -ah! I can slay a beast with one punch, locking in that freshness! 
At level 5 bar, Jungling gets Fawn of Inspiration and access to level 3 spells, where she gets Thinking Cloud. Fawn of Inspiration lets her regain all her Bardic Inspiration on a short or long rest, and Stinking Cloud lets Jungling throw out some of her spoiled ingredients to make a giant cloud of nauseating gas that people have to try and not wrench and reel from. At level 6 bar, Jungling gets Counter Charm, Mental Inspiration, and picks up the spell Tiny Hunt. Counter Charm lets her play a song that prevents herself and her allies from being frightened and charmed. Mantle of Inspiration cloaks Xiongling in magic that makes others want to serve her, which means she can use the command spell for free and anyone charmed by her has no choice but to listen to her command. And the spell Tiny Hunt lets the Stove God make a dome for Xiongling that protects up to 9 people when they need a safe place to sleep or talk. With that, Xiongling is done with Bard and can go back to Druid. At level 7 Druid, Xiongli gets access to level 4 spells. Her subclass gives her Aura of Life and Fire Shield, and she picks up Conjure Minor Elementals and Wall of Fire. Aura of Life has life preserving energy radiating from her that makes it harder to kill anyone in it. Fire Shield has a thin and wispy flames right around Xiongling that protect her from either fire or cold and deals damage to anything that tries to hurt her up close. Conjure Minor Elementals lets her summon allies that might be acquainted with the Stove God to help him battle, and the number depends on how strong they are. Wall of Fire, as it sounds, lets Zhengli summon a huge wall of fire in either a straight line or a circle. At level 8 Druid, Zhengli gets an ability score increase, which will be a plus 2 to Charisma and a wild shape improvement, which lets her turn into deadlier beasts. At level 9 Druid, Zhengli gets access to level 5 spells. Her subclass gives her the spells Flame Strike and Mass Cure Wounds. She also picks up the spell Conjure Elemental and Greater Restoration. Flame Strike brings the Wrath of the Stow God as a column of divine energy strikes an area dealing damage to all inside. Mass Cure Wounds sends out an aroma of delicious food that heals all those who smell it. Conjure Elementals lets Zhongli summon a huge and extra spicy version of Goba to help in combat, and Greater Restoration lets her give someone food that is filled with positive energy that undoes a deliberating effect. Finally! With this power I can cook! <laughs> oh no! I've started salivating! At level 10 Druid, Zhongli gets Cauterizing Flames in the cantrip Druidcraft. With Cauterizing Flames, Zhongli can turn death into magical flames that can heal allies or incinerate enemies, and Druidcraft lets her talk to nature and create a minor magical effect like make a flower blossom, a seed pop open, or a leaf blood bloom. At level 11 Druid, Zhongli gets access to level 6 spells. Here she'll pick up a Hero's Feast and Investor of Flame. Hero's Feast brings forth a great feast including magnificent food and drink. This feast grants a plethora of benefits that last for a day. Investor of Flame lets Zhongli channel the power of the Stone God through her, granting her various flame-based benefits. At level 12 Druid, Zhongli gets an ability score increase, being a plus 2 to constitution and picks up the spell Sunbeam. This spell has her fire a beam of brilliant light that damages anything in its line of fire, blinds it, and can fire this beam up to 10 times. At level 13 Druid, Zhongli picks up the spell Firestorm. Firestorm summons up to 10 fire tornadoes in a huge area that damages anything in them. At level 14 Druid, Zhongli's final level, she gets a Blazing Revival and picks up the spell Regenerate. Blazing Revival lets Goba sacrifice himself in order to save Zhongli and give her health if she would fall in combat. And the spell Regenerate makes a meal that can simulate a creature's natural healing ability to the point where it can regrow severed body members and heal it for a chunk of HP. As my father always says, to make a 5 star dish, you need 10 star passion! I know, I know. To be able to come this far is definitely thanks to your 10-star passion when it comes to practicing with me. So I'll be sure to pay you back with two, no, three times the passion! With this, the head chef at Wanmin restaurant Jingling is finished. The master chef and her god of stove are ready to serve a hot dish and a beatdown, but now comes the pros and cons for the build. Pros are that Zhengling is a chef prodigy with a variety of skills that she can use, has various healing dishes for anyone feeling down, and is a ray of sun sign that brings both the light and the flames. Cons are that Zhengling is like fine china, meaning that she has some low saving throws and armor class. She is also bad with water or anything that is good against fire. She can't cook if she doesn't have her fire. She is also a multi-class, so she doesn't get any of the better higher level class features. But as long as Zhongli has Goba and her cooking creativity, she's sure to come over any obstacle. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button to finish today's commission, and I'll see y'all next time when we talk about the young exorcist from Leeway.